Hey, how's it going everyone? MLT Magic Tricks here. So today I'm going to be giving you a performance and tutorial for this really amazing self-working style card trick. I would start this one off just by giving the deck a few cuts. From here, I would have my spectator cut a small number of cards from the top of the deck. At this point, I would turn around and have my spectator remember the number of cards they cut by dealing them off one at a time on the table. I'm going to turn my head while I do this so you guys are the only ones who know uh, the number. Hopefully you have a number in mind. In case you missed it, I will put it on the screen right now. But once again, uh, my spectator is going to be the only one who knows the number of cards. We'll place the box on top. At this point, I would turn back around and we are ready to proceed with the trick. From here, I would tell my spectator I'm going to deal off 20 cards face up onto the table here. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I would have my spectator remember the number they are thinking of because they are going to need to remember the card at the position that corresponds to their number. For example, if their number was five, they would remember the one, two, three, four, and fifth card here, the six of diamonds in this case. So guys, we're actually gonna go through and do this. Uh, keep that number in mind that you have because you're going to need to remember a card here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So hopefully you have a card in mind. I would tell my spectator I'm actually going to predict the card that you are thinking of. So I'm going to go through and I'm almost positive the card you are thinking of is the Jack of Diamonds. So guys, that is pretty good, but we are going to take this trick a step further. You will see here the backs of all of these cards that we dealt out are blue, but you will notice the card that you were thinking of, the Jack of Diamonds, has a red back, which is pretty amazing. However, guys, we're gonna take this card trick one final step further. We are going to now go to the cards that my spectator cut at the start. I would tell them to go ahead and take them out. These were the cards that they cut earlier in the trick. I would remind them they could have cut any number, you know, at the start, just a small amount. And I would have them turn the cards over and they would see they cut right to the Jack of Diamonds. So guys, that is the trick. I hope you liked it. If you want to learn how to perform it, make sure you watch the tutorial. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that performance. This is a really powerful self-working card trick that is quite easy to perform. So grab your deck of cards and let's get right into the tutorial. There is a small setup that you're gonna need to make for this trick. First, you're gonna decide on a card that you want to use, in this case, the Jack of Diamonds. And then you're going to need to take out this same card from another deck that has a different color back. So in this case, I took out a Jack of Diamonds from my Red Bicycle deck to go along with the main deck that I'm using, which is blue. You're then going to need to count off 20 cards, including the Jack of Diamonds that's going with your main deck. So this right here is 20 cards. You're then placing your opposite colored card in the 21st position, and this pack is going right on top. So you have your main card right here, the Jack of Diamonds, that's going with the blue deck on top. Your opposite colored card is in the 21st position from the top, and you are ready to go. Once you have made this setup, you can go up to your spectator. You can give the deck uh, some false cuts if you want. You don't have to, but if you do false cuts, make sure you're keeping your setup that you have on top of the deck here with these 21 cards. Now you're going to have your spectator cut a small number of cards from the top. Now it's very important they cut less than 21 cards. So you may want to give them a little demonstration of what a small number looks like. You can just tell them, you know, cut a small number like this. Make sure they do not cut more than 21. So obviously don't give them the demonstration by cutting like half the deck. Truly make sure they do cut a small number. So let's say they cut this amount right here. You're going to tell your spectator that they are going to count uh, this number of cards here and remember the number and make sure you tell them while they are counting to deal the cards off one at a time on the table. So once your spectator is clear on the instructions, you're going to turn your back to them. You are not going to see 
the uh, amount of cards they are dealing and tell them to count silently so they are the only ones who know the number. So they're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're going to do that in their head. And you will see here by dealing the cards one at a time on the table, they've got that jack of diamonds right here to the bottom, which is going to be crucial later in the trick. Tell them to place the cards off to the side. They can even place, uh, you know, the card box on top of these cards. So there's no way you could know the number, which is actually true. You do not need to know the number of cards they dealt. Once they're done, turn back around and you're ready to move on with the trick. From here, you're going to tell your spectator you're going to deal 20 cards face up on the table from the deck. Here's what you're going to want to do at this point. You're going to want to turn your wrist up and deal off the cards like this. One at a time, you are going to deal off 20 cards, but you're turning your wrist because you are eventually going to be dealing uh, this red-backed card, and you do not want to flash this to your spectator. So go ahead and deal out these 20 cards on the table. Uh, you may want to kind of do it in this little maze pattern here because you're probably going to run out of room to just to deal 20 straight across. So make sure you do keep track here. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. You see I have them going one on top of another and make sure they do kind of stay in this order so it does not get too scrambled because you are going to need to count these cards again, starting with the one that you dealt last. From here, you're gonna tell your spectator to remember the number that they thought of earlier, you know, which was based on the number of cards they dealt. So your spectator is thinking of the number seven, and you now need to give your spectator some clear instructions on what they're gonna do. You're gonna tell them that they are going to memorize the card in the position that corresponds to their number. I would recommend just giving them a little example here. So you can say, if you thought of the number three, you would memorize the one, two, and third card, the six of hearts. You're gonna tell them you're going to count off these cards one at a time, so you cover all the possibilities. You're gonna go ahead and do this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Obviously you guys, we know that the number is seven and they would be, you know, thinking of the Jack of Diamonds, but you're going to count off each number here. You're going to go, you count off each card until you go up to 20. But guys, every single time the, you know, number of cards they dealt is going to correspond to the card that you remember at the start. In this case, the Jack of Diamonds, which was our set up card. That's just how it works with you uh, placing this Jack of Diamonds that has the red back in the 21st position. So just keep that in mind every single time it is going to be this card. And obviously the position may change depending on how many cards they cut at the start, but you know, make sure you are making this clear to your spectators so they do end up memorizing the correct card. You tell them, okay, I dealt off all the cards. You know, I counted off all the cards. I believe the card you're thinking of is the Jack of Diamonds. They're obviously going to be completely blown away. Now you're going to separate the card out, gather the rest up and tell them, okay, you can see here all of these cards have a blue back and now you can snap your fingers and show them the jack of diamonds is the only one that has a red back now for the finale you're going to tell them okay go ahead uh, lift up the card box here pick up the cards that you cut earlier and tell them to turn them over and they will think that they actually cut to the jack of diamonds at the start of the trick making for an impossible and very powerful ending so that is the card trick i hope you guys liked it definitely give this one a try it will fool all your spectators uh thank you for watching i will see you guys in my next video peace out